Good morning. Oh, so beautiful. I love this time of year. Thank you for that beautiful music. Well, what an exciting Sunday we have. We love the Advent season. It is the third Sunday of Advent. It's the Sunday of joy. Uh, so just a few announcements as we get started. Uh, as you can see, the choir cantata is today, and they have been working so hard. So thank you for being here to be a part of that. We are so thrilled uh, to get to hear uh, their beautiful uh, message and song today. A um, few things. Um, today is the uh, memorial service for Bob Dumler, uh, such a, a special friend to our uh, church. Um, so that's at 1 o'clock today. We would sure love to have you stay if that's something you would like to do. It will also be uh, video streamed as well on our Facebook page, so you can watch online if you are wanting to do that. Um, ballots for uh, voting members are in the mail, so when you get them, please uh, return them as soon as possible. I think they're hoping to have them in in uh, just a couple of weeks, so return those right away, please. Um, if you look in your bulletin, there is a couple of different things in here. This is for you to invite a neighbor or a friend or someone that you meet at the grocery store. Let's fill our church for the Christmas season. Uh, so this is a really great uh, way to just kind of show them all the things that we can do. So definitely um, pass those out. That's what they are for. Let's see if we can each invite at least one person this year to our Sunday um, Christmas service, which is on a Sunday. It'll be so fun. I heard that we're thinking about doing either Christmas pajamas or ugly sweaters or whatever you feel like you want to come to church in on uh, Sunday Christmas morning. We will be here for sure. So even if you just want to stream in live online, we're going to have such a great time. All right, uh, food bank, um, it is being used. A lot of our school families and some of our own people use it. So um, bring donations as you can. There's always a list of those outside the room or you could call the office. And a couple special uh, birthdays we had this week. Uh, Gary Jantz, longtime member. Happy birthday to you. And Noah. One of our kids in the back's turning 12 this week, so definitely give them a big happy birthday and high five today because um, we love birthday season, and they need a little extra love for those December birthdays. So, All right, I think that's all I have for you. I will invite our worship team up. Amen, and thank you, Cameo. And this is a special Sunday. We're so grateful to have our choir cantata today and some extra special music and even a, a string quartet here from Colorado Christian University. So aren't we blessed uh, to have all of this uh, special worship music here today? And I uh, hope this will be a blessing for all of us. And uh, we're going to actually sing a, a uh, song that is a favorite, I know, for so many of us. Go tell it on the mountain as we start off our worship this morning. So let's please stand as you're able and we'll sing together. Shepherds kept their watch 
Amen. And now let us pray. God, we are so very blessed that you have called us into this place and that you've given us your great commission to go and, and tell all the people of the good news we have in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we pray that this service might lift up your name and uh, be a, a thankful service of praise. And we thank you for our choir, for uh, all of our friends from Colorado Christian University who are help, helping us out. Help us to make a joyful noise unto the Lord this day. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And you may be seated and I'd like to invite uh, the family to come forward and light our Advent candle. Today is the third Sunday of Advent, the uh, candle of joy. Watch and wait for Christmas coming. Light candles of hope, peace, joy, and love. Remembering the promises of God, hear God's promise of joy from Isaiah 35, 1 through 10. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus, it shall blossom abundantly. And rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it. The majesty of Carmel and Sharon, they shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. We light the candle of hope. We light the candle of peace. We light the candle of joy. Now let us pray. Faithful and loving God, you lead us from tears of sorrow into laughter as we are restored into newness of life, now fill us with your joy. As we await the coming of your Son, Jesus Christ, God of promise, God of hope, into our darkness come. Amen. Amen. Uh, the third candle, the candle of joy, as you notice, is a, is a pink candle. Um, and uh, we're going to sing now our responsive song. Um, as we do each Sunday in response to the lighting of the Advent candle, prepare ye the way of the Lord. And now I'd like to invite the kids to come up, and uh, Miss Cameo has a, a children's message. this time of year. Aren't we so excited? Christmas is like a couple weeks away. Are we excited about that? Yes. What do we love about Christmas and the Christmas season? Food, presents. What did you say? Presents, food. I know these are important things. So one of the most important things during the holiday season is what was the Advent uh, word of the day? Joy, that's right, joy. Does anybody know what it means to have joy? Be happy, that's a good one. You guys have anything different? Joy. Yeah, so 
joy is, it could mean to be happy, right? And it doesn't just mean that we're smiling and we feel happy, but it actually is an internal feeling, right? So even if, you know, something not great happens, like we still know that we have a family that loves us, right? God still loves us, right? And these are the things that joy is about. It's like an internal feeling of peace. So, Emily, hold that for me. I'll let our girls hold it this time. All right, so spell out joy for me. J-O-Y, right? So, J, I want you guys to remember Jesus, J for Jesus, O for others, and Y for yourself. So I want, when you hear the word joy, I want you to remember this. Jesus first. We're to love Jesus and honor him first. Next is others. We're going to love others and put them above ourselves, right? And Y is for yourself. So we still love and take care of ourselves, right? But... We're going to put Jesus first, and then we're going to care for others, too. So this holiday season, and mom's busy doing dishes and laundry and getting ready for Christmas, you know how you could bring her joy? You could go and you could help and put away the dishes and dry them for her, or you could offer to do something to help. And even if it doesn't make you happy, I bet that you will bring her some joy. So remember things like that this season. Even if something doesn't make us happy necessarily, it gives us a chance to bring joy to others. So number one, J stands for Jesus. O stands for others. Good. And Y stands for yourself. Very, very good. All right, let's have a prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for these children. We are blessed to be a part of their lives and watch them grow in their relationship with you. Please help us to remember that true joy comes from you alone, and you fill our hearts with joy every day. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, friends, I'll see you in just a few minutes. Amen. And the kids have a big production coming up just next Sunday as we have the kids' children's pageant. So a lot of, of uh, festive worship in this time. And we're going to sing now our song as we prepare our hearts for the prayer. And this is a, an Advent song, Christians All Your Lord is Coming. Christians, all your Lord is coming, drawing near in holy birth. Ring the bells and sound the trumpets, let your music fill the earth. Dance and move to show God's glory, kneel and pause to hear God's word.
Um, and we're singing some of these songs that are uh, Advent carols because we are moving fast towards this, uh, to, towards Christmas. And uh, it's pretty exciting. Doesn't the church look beautiful? Now, I think the poinsettias are as pretty as what we've ever had here. And thank you so much. So grateful that we have our choir and also so many helpers um, here from Colorado Christian University. I want to thank especially Annika and Jonathan for all of their hard work. So looking forward to this. Aren't we blessed to have, I had uh, one of our um, members, well, Steve, Steve was, is in the hospital. Steve would otherwise be here, and he's so sorry to miss it, but he said, well, do you know how long we think we'll have these choir directors? He says, I hope we'll have them for a long time, and we're just so blessed uh, to have you all, and you do such, such a great job. So looking forward to this presentation today, and um, we're uh, thankful to have our family of faith and want to lift up a few. I, I mentioned Steve, uh, Steve, who took a fall last week. Uh, you might have been here as we were practicing choir. They, he, they had to rush him off to the hospital, and he's gone into a rehab facility, so hopefully he's on the mend, and he, again, he's sorry that he can't be here with us today. And also Bob Dumler, the memorial service for Bob Dumler today at uh, uh, 1 o'clock. So right here in this sanctuary, uh, please do come. Apparently, we're going to have a lot of food, isn't that right? Um, a big Mexican, Mexican buffet uh, here. So please do stay. Don't even worry about eating. That's at 1 o'clock, and they just plan to have a late lunch and stay after for the fellowship and the food. It's going to be a real celebration of life. And I uh, want to give thanks again to, um, I know these guys are taking time out of their busy schedule. This is a, a busy time. I think my son has three finals coming up this week. So we pray for the kids and their finals in this busy season. We pray for those who are traveling. Uh, we love having little kids up on the stage. So that makes the more, the more, the merrier. Uh, pray for all of our kids. And this is a big season waiting on Santa Claus. So a lot for us to be thankful for. Uh, Nikki, do you want to lift up anything else? Okay, I want to pray for, we've got a couple birthdays as we mentioned, uh, Gary has a birthday and also Noah, so we keep them in our prayers this week, and I know uh, your family, uh, Wendy's got a lot going on right now, new babies, two new babies come in these past couple of weeks, and so just know we pray for you guys with everything you have going on. And of course, God hears our prayers even when they go uh, mentioned in our hearts, um, aren't we blessed to be a part of this family of faith? So let's turn our hearts now to God and join together in a spirit of prayer at this time. And now let us pray. And God, we are so very blessed, and we give you all thanks and praise for this Sunday of joy. And God, we do find joy in our hearts through what you have done through us and our salvation and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God, even as Cameo was sharing, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of what's going on, in the world, God, we can find peace and, and love and joy and hope in our hearts through our relationship with you and through our salvation in your Son. And God, we give you all thanks and praise. We're so grateful for this season, for all of the, the memories, for all of the beauty, the songs, God, all of the carols that we sing. God, what a festive season to remind us of uh, how, how grateful we are for what you've done for us and your son Jesus Christ, on whom we wait. God, we trust in your promises. We trust in the promise of eternal life, and we give thanks this day for Bob Dumler, for his life and his legacy, and for the chance to have a service of celebration today in his memory. Aren't we blessed that we can share our friendship along this journey of faith? God, and we thank you for all of those, and we ask your prayer for your blessing on Steve, who is in the hospital this day, and I know wishes he could be here with the choir. And we thank you for this choir, for Annika and Jonathan and all their hard work and all the young people who have come out to help us uh, with this presentation in worship. God, what a blessing that we have all of these gifts and, and talents and help us to lend our gifts and talents to your service, to building your church here and around the world. God, we pray for each of these, for those that are having birthdays, for those that are traveling, for those kids that are looking at finals, the students who have finals in school this week. We just ask your blessing upon each one. And God, you know our prayers, even when they go unmentioned in our hearts. We know that your spirit speaks for us with sighs too deep for words. 
And so we claim that promise this day and we pray that we might find a new spirit of joy in our hearts in this time of worship. God, and we pray for your peace, that peace that comes in the person of your son, Jesus Christ, on whom we wait. Hear us now as we pray, even as he taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
Is, and this is that's that's the cantata, is it? Is this this is the cantata? Well, guys, let's give everyone a big round of applause and give God the glory. Uh, we're so grateful, and what a great presentation! It's amazing what you can pull together and all of these, all of the talent we have here. Um, let's uh, please. I'd like to I'd like to give thanks to all of the young people that we had here in helping with this presentation. Let's please give them a round of applause and give thanks. Amen. Amen. So much for us to be thankful for. And uh, this is a really great intro into the season. We have all of this talent here. And then this afternoon, if you're here, we actually have, we have the, the quartet, we have the uh, piano, uh, the bass guitar. This afternoon, we're going to have the pipe organ featured on the service for Bob Dummler. So we'll have all the instruments here in this place. Oh, and the harp, and the harp will be here also this afternoon. So beautiful Sunday for music, and again, thank you for all of those who helped out from the university. What a beautiful job, and we still get to hear from our uh, string quartet during the time of communion. But um, we're going to sing in response, and we have a chance to sing another of our Christmas carols. So let's together join, and we're going to sing a responsive hymn. This uh, cantata today was in place of the message, so I hope that we received a blessing from the music that we had today, and I hope that it's carrying a message for us as well. Let's stand as we're able, and we're going to sing a little bit of an obscure Christmas carol, maybe not as familiar, but that's uh, what we get in Advent season. So let's sing together, Once in Royal David City.
may be seated. And aren't we so blessed? We had, a, uh, we had an illustration of uh, contributing talents to uh, God's church this morning. And aren't we blessed again to have all of these talents here and the use of the church? Amen. And yeah, let's give another round of applause and give thanks. We are so very blessed. And I want to thank again our choir directors, Jonica and, uh, J- Jonathan and Annika. Uh, what, a, what a great job. And we are just so blessed to have them here and we get to hear more because Annika that has also been working with our children along with Cameo and others to p- present so and, and this is in the midst of all of your school and everything else that you do so we are just so blessed and we get to hear more of this uh, special music next Sunday but we have an opportunity to give back to God and just like all of these singers gave and the musicians gave of their talents we too can give of our time and talents and treasure to build the kingdom of God and to contribute to supporting God's church. Aren't we blessed to be part of something so much larger than we ourselves, to be part of God's project, amen, and to be part of sharing the message of our faith and our hope and our joy on this Advent Sunday of joy, and I think we are. We're sharing the joy, aren't we? We're sharing the joy of the Lord here in this place. And let's take this not as an obligation, but as a privilege that God counts on us, believes in us to continue to carry the message of our hope. So let's remember that all good things come from God and that we are but stewards and that we have an opportunity to share these good gifts. We're going to sing now. um, And through this season, instead of our traditional doxology, we've been singing this beautiful song, which I think so fits the spirit of this season of the Father's love begotten. Let's sing together. Amen. And now let us pray. God, we are so very blessed. You are the owner of the cattle on a thousand hills, and we are but stewards. And God, we thank you for this opportunity to give, to to give back, to give just a a portion of, of what we have received from you, our blessings as innumerable as the stars in the sky. God, help us to be more generous people along this journey of faith. And God, we dedicate these gifts to you and to sharing the message of our hope into building of your church and helping those in need here and around the world. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's hard to believe we are two weeks from Christmas morning. And I don't know about you, but I don't think I'm quite ready. And so I've started calling this the season of the great both and. So I am both excited and I can't wait. I love the lights on the tree. I love the poinsettias. I love your bright and shiny clothes. I love driving around and seeing all the lights. And I'm tired. And I'm sad. And I'm missing loved ones that to me speak and scream Christmas. I'm missing my grandmother who was the epitome of the Christmas spirit all year round. I'm missing friends that I can't join with because miles now separate us or conflict now separates or dare I say death now keeps us from talking to one another. This to me is the season of both and. 
Our bodies, our hearts are filled with joy and excitement of what's to come and sorrow and grief for those we miss, for those no longer at the table, for those we no longer speak with. We come to this table with our hearts full of that both and spirit. We come to this table just as we are, in joy and in sorrow. We come because Christ has set the table, Christ has offered the invitation, and Christ awaits our arrival. We come just as we are on this day, and Christ says, welcome, I love you, lay your burdens here, I am with you. Come to this table and receive the greatest gift we'll ever receive, Christ's body, Christ's blood poured and broken for us. Grace, salvation, redemption, not because of what we have done, but because Christ loves us so very much. If your spirit is tired already and we're not even to Christmas Day, Come to the table. And if your heart is full of joy and you can't wait to dance to the table, come to the table. All are welcome, all are invited, and all belong. Come and taste and see that the Lord is indeed good this day and every day. Amen. Amen. I'd like to... Invite the, I know we have a a string quartet that's playing the music for communion, so if you all would like to go ahead and find your seat, because we've come now to the main event um, where we're going to share the sacred meal of our Lord Jesus Christ, as he's commanded us to do. And we're going to sing one of these um, carols in a minor key, I wonder as I wonder as we prepare our hearts for the Lord's table this day. Let's join together, I wonder as I wander, number 161. I wonder as I wander out under the sky how Jesus the Savior did come for to die for poor ordinary people like you and like I I wonder and 
love, more than a feeling, is one of the highest intentions we can hold. Love as a name and the nature of God. It's also, love is also a call to action, a call to action. Let love flow as kindness, as gentleness, and as compassion as Christ has shown us. And in communion, through bread and wine, may we grow in love. Amen. Of course, we know that it was on the night that Jesus was betrayed. The scripture says that he first took the bread. And the scripture says how he blessed it and, and he broke it. And then he gave it to the disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body broken for you. And then likewise, Jesus took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for the forgiveness of sin. Take this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God this day and always. Amen. Amen. And we have now shared in the sacred meal of our Lord Jesus Christ as he has commanded us to do. And we will finish out this service with a, a, a closing song, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. And again, I want to give thanks to all of those who, who helped out in this beautiful service of of music and of celebration this day, really just what I needed to get my spirit ready for what's coming. And uh, let's stand now as we're able and we sing together our closing song, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. God with us, revealed in us. Isn't that good news? Let's go out now on the benediction as we close. And now may the love of God, the peace of Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all through Jesus Christ our Lord this day and always. Amen.